Hello everyone, welcome to Catalysis by Vedantu. My name is Pahul and we are here with the question of the day. Now this question belongs to the very first chapter of chemistry technically from mole concept. It's a very interesting question in the sense that it involves stoichiometry but in multiple steps and there are lots of possibilities of error over here. Let's try to read the question first. KClO4 may be made by the means of the following series of reactions. Cl2 plus 2KOH gives you KCl plus KClO plus H2O. Then KClO converts into KCl plus KClO3 and then KClO3 gets converted to KClO4 ultimately. How much Cl2 is needed to prepare 200 grams of KClO4 by the above sequence? A lot of you must be saying that, okay, sir, we can solve this via POAC, Principle of Atomic Conservation. The problem with POAC over here that you might encounter is that you start with Cl2, okay? Cl2 goes into KCl and goes into KClO. So, Cl2 over here splits into two. Only half of the chlorine that you had taken now is involved in this particular reaction and then it splits further as well yeah and for this reaction only this chlorine is involved in the last reaction so principle of atomic conservation is used only when all of the starting element ends up in the final product okay but over here chlorine is getting split up into so many different different places yeah it's getting split up in the first reaction it's getting split up in the second reaction it's getting split in the last reaction as well so chlorine is getting distributed and therefore we can't use the principle of atomic conservation for chlorine <laughs> okay similarly with <clears throat> potassium yeah potassium is also getting distributed from here it goes to two different species yeah, from here it goes to two different species so we can't use potassium either for the principle of atomic conservation neither can we use oxygen neither can we use hydrogen because everything is getting distributed right <laughs> fine oxygen got distributed into two so for principle of atomic conservation all of the starting point should end up in my ending substance so POAC to nahi laga sakte now what do we do? Very simple. Let's focus on KClO4. Always follow bottom up approach. Hmm? Start from the bottom, <laughs> go to the top. Three KClO4, okay. Three moles of KClO4 are formed by four moles of KClO3. All of this KClO3 is coming from the second reaction. So, in order to produce 4 moles of KClO3 from the second reaction, let me multiply the entire second reaction with the number 4. Isn't it? So, you will get 4 KClO3. This will become 4 into 2 KCl. This will become 4 into 3 KClO. So, what is this equal to? 4 into 3 is equal to 12. Yes. <laughs> 12 moles of KClO are required to <clears throat> get towards 3 moles of KClO4. Getting the idea? If I start with 12 moles of KClO, I will end up with 4 moles of KClO3, all of which will be required to create 3 moles of KClO4. Fine. Now, similarly, let's take this upstairs. I need 12 moles of KClO, all of the KClO is being produced by this reaction. So if I have to get 12 moles of KClO, I got to multiply the entire reaction with the number 12. Kardo. Put the 12 everywhere. Right? Now, the point over here is that if I start with 12 moles of chlorine, I end up at 3 moles of KClO4. Hmm? The story now sounds like this. If I start at 12 moles of Cl2, I would end up with 12 moles of KClO. Then if I take the same 12 moles of KClO, I would end up with 4 moles of KClO3. And this 4 moles of KClO3 would eventually end up giving me 3 moles of KClO4. So ultimately, the result is that 12 moles of Cl2 would eventually give rise to 
थ्री मोल्स ऑफ के सी एल ओ फोर इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस रेशो आई विल डिवाइड बोथ साइड विद द नंबर थ्री एंड द रेशो गेट सिंप्लीफाइड टू फोर मोल्स ऑफ सी एल टू विल इवेंचुअली गिव मी वन मोल ऑफ के सी एल ओ फोर राइट so now that we have the ratio of number of moles between cl2 and kclo4 our life is simple we have to end up at 200 grams of kclo4 so my dear friends if i have to convert grams into moles what do i do hmm yahan kar dete hain moles of kclo4 are kya likh diya maine clo4 kitna aa jayega ye given weight that is 200 Divided by the molar weight of KClO4. What's the molar weight of KClO4, people? Do you remember? Potassium is how much? Thirty-nine grams per mole. Chlorine is how much? Thirty-five point five grams per mole. And oxygen is how much? Sixteen grams per mole. Okay. So if you add <laughs> the numbers together, that is thirty-nine plus thirty-five point five plus. 16 uh, 16 into 4 that is 64 okay so if you add those numbers together you will get 138.5 grams per mole no need to simplify this right now let's let it be so these are the number of moles of kclo4 number of moles of chlorine will be four times yeah so i can say moles of cl2 will be equal to four times the moles of KClO4 that is 200 divided by 138.5. Now this is the number of moles of Cl2. What do I do to this number in order to convert it to the weight of Cl2? I multiply this number with the molar weight of CO2. Hmm? Molar weight into number of moles equal to total weight. Fine. So simply changing this over here to weight of cl2 that we require in order to generate 200 grams of kclo4 is equal to 4 into 200 by 138 into what's the molar weight of cl2 over here please don't take the molar weight of chlorine <laughs> okay take the molar weight of chlorine molecule cl2 so that comes out to be 71 this is the simple calculation that we have to do now okay <clears throat> simple calculation that we have to do now you can do it accurately take your time i'll show you how we can approximate this okay so if the answers in your objective type examination are far apart from each other then you can approximate okay let's just do the approximation then i'll tell you when you can do the approximation can you see the obvious approximation over here 71 into 2 is 142 Yes. So what I will do just to approximate is this. <laughs> All right. This number will be slightly lesser than two. Okay, but fine. So ये भी काट दिया यहाँ पे. This also becomes two. Now this number on the top will be slightly more than two. Yes, because the denominator was slightly lesser than two. So this number will be slightly more than two. So the answer approximately is four hundred grams. but we know that since this is a little more than 2 the answer will be slightly more than 400 now in the options if this comes as an objective type uh, question in your exam in the options if the options are say 100 grams 200 grams 400 grams 800 grams then you can do the approximation because the numbers are far apart from each other but now if the options are 410 grams 420 grams 400 grams 390 grams then you have to do accurate calculation okay so if you do it accurately the answer comes out to be somewhere around 410 grams okay this is because i solved the question before solving it with you <laughs> okay so accurate answer is approximately for uh, around 410 approximately we figured out the answer as 400 grams which is fine depending on how this question is asked overall you should understand the logic behind solving the question if you've done that perfect So people that was the question of the day if you enjoyed this one make sure that thumbs up button stay subscribed to the channel notifications please turn those notifications on because we have questions of the day coming for you every day at 6am and loads of classes in the evening i'm going to see you later bye bye